Bitcoin is the king of the crypto market. In addition to being the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is also the most well-known of the more than 19,000 cryptocurrencies that are currently in use. Every new spectacular high and sickening low is enthusiastically covered by the financial media, making Bitcoin an inevitability in the landscape. Even while the extreme volatility makes for exciting news, it hardly makes Bitcoin the greatest option for those who are new to investing or seeking a reliable store of value. So, what is Bitcoin and how does it work? Well, let's get started. Bitcoin, which functions as a decentralized digital currency, does away with the requirement that financial transactions be handled by a central bank or any other entity that is centralized. It is available for purchase on nearly all exchanges, like Coinbase or Binance, and is given to blockchain miners as compensation for their efforts in verifying transactions. Bitcoin was first introduced to the general public in 2009 by an anonymous developer or group of anonymous developers under the guise of the moniker Satoshi Nakamoto. To this day, the true identity of who created Bitcoin remains a complete mystery, despite numerous investigations. Since then, it has grown to be the most well-known cryptocurrency worldwide. As a result of its popularity, numerous additional cryptocurrencies have been developed. These rivals either want to displace it as a means of payment or are employed in other blockchains and cutting-edge financial technology as utility or security tokens. The domain name Bitcoin.org was registered in August 2008. This domain is WhoisGuard protected today, making the person who registered its identity to be private. In October of 2008, a person or group going by the name Satoshi Nakamoto initiated the cryptography mailing list that could be found on the website metsdowd.com. They were working on a whole new kind of electronic payment that would be purely peer-to-peer -peer and wouldn't involve any reputable third parties. The now famous white paper that was published on Bitcoin.org and titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, would go on to become the Magna Carta for how Bitcoin operates in its current iteration. Then, on January 3rd, 2009, the very first Bitcoin block, known as Block Zero, was successfully mined. This block is sometimes referred to as the Genesis block. Interestingly, Bitcoin rewards are halved every 210,000 blocks on average, or about every four years. For instance, in 2009, the block reward was 50 brand new Bitcoins. The third halving took place on May 11, 2020, reducing the reward for finding a block to 6.25 Bitcoins. The next halving event is due to take place in 2024, when the block reward will fall to 3.125. It is possible that Bitcoin will one day be subdivided to an even greater number of decimal places, but this will only happen if it is deemed essential and all of the current miners agree to the change. That small unit of Bitcoin is referred to as a Satoshi, the name given to the smallest unit of a Bitcoin, which may be divided into a Bitcoin up to 8 places after the decimal point. The idea that Bitcoin may be used as a kind of currency is not overly complicated to understand. If you own a Bitcoin, for instance, you may use your cryptocurrency wallet to send smaller quantities of that Bitcoin to pay for products or services instead of using your fiat cash. But how does it work essentially? First, you need to understand that a cryptocurrency is part of both a blockchain and the network that is necessary to run it. Then there is the distributed ledger, often known as a blockchain, a shared database that stores many pieces of information. The blockchain utilizes encryption in order to secure the data that is stored inside it. When a transaction takes place on the blockchain, the data from the previous block is encrypted and moved to a new block along with the newly added data. This move is followed by the transaction being confirmed by validators, also known as miners, in the network. Once a transaction has been validated, a new block is created and given as a reward to the miner or miners that validated the data included in the block. At this point, the miner or miners are free to use, keep, or sell the newly created Bitcoin. Here is where it gets interesting, and probably more confusing. Bitcoin employs the SHA-256 hashing algorithm in order to encrypt the information that is stored in the blocks that are part of the blockchain.
A block's transaction data is encrypted using a 256-bit hexadecimal integer, which is a simple way of explaining how encryption works. That number stores all of the transactional information and details linked to blocks that came before that block. When this happens, network miners are presented with an accumulation of transactions that need to be validated. Within the Bitcoin blockchain network, many miners will work together to validate a single transaction at the same time. A miner will repeatedly hash the block header or produce it at random until it hits a threshold value determined by the blockchain. After the block header has been solved, a new block is created so that subsequent transactions can be encrypted and confirmed after the block has been completed. It might get a little bit confusing, but don't worry, with time, it gets easier. When the proof of work has been created and each transaction in a block has been validated as legitimate, the entire block will be uploaded to the blockchain. The blockchain is a digital ledger that records all of the transactions that have taken place from the beginning of time. The validation of the transactions included in a block is accomplished by a process that is known as the proof of work. This is a piece of data that is difficult to produce in terms of time, complexity, and expense, but is relatively easy for other users of the network to read, analyze, and verify after it has been produced. The proof of work for Bitcoin is represented by the hash value attached to each new block added to the blockchain. The sum of all the data included in a block is what constitutes the hash. Because changing even just one piece of the input data will result in the generation of a totally new hash, it will be necessary to use an entirely separate proof of work in order to validate this block. The hash is what gives the proof of work its validity. But it's not all roses for Bitcoin, as scalability has been a concern in recent years as a direct result of the rising value of the cryptocurrency. Simply, the scalability issue is a bottleneck that slows down the rate at which the network can process Bitcoin transactions. The fact that there are limits placed on the size and frequency of blocks is a source of contention. If you made a purchase using Bitcoin today, the time it takes for your payment to be completed might range anywhere from 6 to 10 minutes, depending on whether or not your transaction was included in the first block that was mined. This is a rather slow method of payment when contrasted with other alternative payment methods such as debit or credit card transactions. The confirmation engine that supports Visa credit cards is capable of handling an average of 2,000 transactions per second and a maximum of 56,000 transactions per second. If Bitcoin is going to gain popularity and really have a chance of competing with more established ways of payment in the modern world, the network will need to find a solution to the scalability issue. This is often what folks have in mind when they say that there is a need for an upgrade to the Bitcoin infrastructure. Interestingly, the price of BTC initially matched that of the US dollar in February of 2011 and the achievement attracted more investors to the market. It has grown by an astounding 9 million percent between 2010 and 2020 and has become the best performing asset of any type, including equities, commodities, and bonds during the previous decade. It has even risen as high as $69,000 per coin during the last 2021 bull market. But now, we are in another crypto winter, and Bitcoin is currently trading at $18,800 per coin. An amazing discount, right? Maybe, or maybe not. Now that the proof-of-stake model has proven itself to be much more sustainable and energy efficient, it could be argued that Bitcoin is on the way out. What do you think? Do you think that it will continue to be a market leader? Is it truly a store of wealth better than gold? Comment below, let's engage! Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more interesting crypto-related content. See you in the next video!